Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck and this is Cube World. And I thought I'd make a little tutorial for the game because the beginning is very rough and it's like coming out for like well, <laughs> the general public tomorrow. And uh, yeah, let's just give you some tips. I've been giving tips on the streams I've did and let's compare some like to a single little video for the YouTube. Also, like, hi YouTube. <laughs> Don't often make videos for just YouTube anymore. So let's let's start a game. I got my, my level 7 dwarf warrior here, which you know, levels you don't really care about, it's not a bit, very much a thing. But for starters, let's make a character. I don't care super much. You know what? We'll make a, a female dwarf. Um, there. <laughs> nice big nose. Um, as for class, there is four warrior, ranger, mage, and rogue. Warrior is pretty good, actually. Uh, especially if you're playing solo, um, if you're playing multiplayer, then maybe throw another class in, uh, I'd say. But solo, warrior, you can like go against things stronger than you. So yeah, that's I think I'd recommend a warrior. Let's uh, create a character and play it. We here in <laughs> the Deadlands of Ikoria? No, that's where I was. We're in Lunder Hills. So you'll start off somewhere. And that should be near a village. You start off near a shrine. Uh, this is where you, you respawn if you die, and you will die. You'll die a lot. So uh, you should start near a village. I don't see anyone right now. Uh, but hey, there's buttons to do for things. Like you see, I uh, also have a little menu in the bottom left which shows buttons. You have mouse one for attack, mouse two is basically a charge attack. That uses the MP bar if you. You get MP once you attack some enemies. Left shift is the spin and win attack or cyclone. Really powerful. Use it all the time basically. Uh, yeah, move and mouse three. Mouse three being the mouse wheel button. Yeah, let's if you do let you dodge. I hardly ever use that. Uh, there's also tap mouse three for smash, which I hardly hardly ever do. I think that's also an attack. Uh, T is for calling and riding a pet, but you just don't have to start. And yeah, that's basically the starting buttons. Well, if you press F1, you can get this away. Normal controls otherwise are WASD with the keyboard. W A S D. Uh, space for jumping. Uh, other button is R for the rock fist. Special attack. Um, you can only do it once every 20 seconds. I don't use it that much, but it is good to like get away from enemies. Because yeah, if you're doing using you do it using it during a fight, even uh, you like go away from the enemy. It's a thing. And yeah, that's the major buttons. Uh, another major, major button is M, the map. And here you can see things. Right mouse button scrolls the map. Left mouse button changes your orientation. If mouse wheel zooms in and such, and I can see here is probably a village. Uh, with the middle mouse button, I can place a star there, so I can find it. And uh, now I know there is a village over there. Let's check it out. Um, that's really the first thing you should do when you start the game. Go to a village. Also, it's night, so it's, <laughs> it's even more important. And yeah, we got a nice village over here. What's also important when you're in a village is talking to people. And here's some wizards. But E, I can talk to them. And if you, you can also talk to them all at the same time to speed things up. Thing is, they will give you hints of what to do. And uh, yeah, he just told me there's a book of crafting somewhere. One of them did. If I zoom out, uh, I don't know that there's a book of crafting there. And I kind of want yeah more information like that on the map, so I'm gonna talk to people. Also, of course, I started at night, which is very annoying. Yeah, also, E to pick up things on the way. F will turn off your light, or turn on the light. So I saw someone else killing monster over there, so I'm gonna pick up some gold. <laughs> oh, it would be nice to have like 10 gold so I can sleep. Also, talk to more people. Uh, they might give you hints, or just tell you nothing, really. Because um, night is... A Pretty much an issue. Uh, <laughs> you killed another thing. Okay, thank you. <laughs> this is also a good way to start the game. Because, yeah, I can't kill that. And he can. 
Oh, just one more, please. Oh, I need 10 coins. <laughs> of course, there's nothing along the room. I'll look long, long here now, and then it's dark, so I can't see anything. Uh, well, maybe that's... There's something over there, a goblin? Maybe he's killed something. <laughs> so the characters walking around. There's lots of, like, player characters or NPCs walking around the game. and They might beat up stuff for you. It's actually pretty nice in the beginning. Uh, there's another set of humans. You can also yeah, yeah, just talk to them. Pick up everything you find. And hey, you guys, please give me a hint. I like to talk to both of them at the same time. Uh, oh, he's gonna tell me something about Dura Dura Rocks. A gnome screaming. He was captured by ogres. Well, I can see over there, that's a thing. You can also notice that these are color coded. Uh, there's a whole color coding system in the game. Oh, by the way. Before I go on with that, uh, if you're colorblind, you might have problems with those. Go to the options. Oh, for options, instead of color coded, you can do as stars. And now you can see. Well, it is also has stars under it. I guess I'll keep this on for the video. And yeah, this is two star thing. This is three star thing. Double murder me. Two star maybe as a warrior, but still will really be really hard. Because if I check B for uh, Bernard or. Uh, room or whatever you can see I'm weapon level armor level one and uh, yeah I can beat enemies which are weapon or armor level one or one star basically and the others yeah anything hell or anything stronger than that will be very hard to fight and will probably murder you um so yeah I need <laughs> I need one more coin I can't see anything. Oh, that's a great start for tutorial. Uh, worthless talk. Well, I guess uh, let's just talk in a village. Maybe you can like kill a pet of the village or something. <laughs> um, also, when you're in a village, if you mouse zoom in, you can just mouse wheel zoom here or on the map. Doesn't matter where. Uh, you can see where stuff is in the village. Also, sometimes in these fields there's things you can pick up. And that's pretty useful actually, so try and find those. Not in this field, unfortunately. Anything? No. You want to have 11 beetles, but congratulations. <laughs> um, yeah, I can see there's all the shops over here. Uh, Go a bit further in. And yeah, I keep talking to people. Oh, there's an artifact somewhere. Oh, that's a really good one. You look strange. Well, you too, lady. <laughs> um, yeah, here's one of the things. Oh, very important. If you're playing multiplayer, uh, you might want to go to your friend because you might be very far away from each other. It's a large world. I'm in one little area over here. Uh, yeah, this is just my neighborhood, but your friend might be, well, kilometers away, like 30,000 kilometers away. That's why you use this guy. Also, to start multiplayer, um, you basically need someone in your friends list on Steam. And then I think, yeah, Jay will do it. And if someone's online here, I got lots of people in my Steam friends list. Uh, you can click on them and join them. And that way you'll be at a party together. And once you have that, you can go to this guy. And if you click on his face, which will probably be somewhere in the edge of the map, click on it twice, he'll fly you there for free. If you want to fly somewhere else, because this is like the fast travel guy, it'll cost you 100 bucks. Uh, unless you go really far away, then the price will raise, rise. I don't even have 10 bucks yet, so that is a thing. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's how you get to your friends in multiplayer. Um, I really want things they... You know what? I have an idea. I could probably sell a potion. Because a weapon vendor, he would sell things. Here's a mace, which is worse than what I have. Can I, like, sell a potion? Like, click this once. Hey, I got ten coins. Perfect. <laughs> now I can make a day. Let's zoom in. Yeah, like... 
yeah, put the mouse over you, it's easier to maybe see where you're going and which shop exactly to go. So now the inn is basically over there. Uh, and of course I'm on the wrong side of it. And I have this thing where I have to walk max around the building to get in. And actually this was the inn. Here's an inn. Inns always have like characters to talk to, which well, might give you a hint. You need to open the door. Let's talk to everyone in the inn. And hey, so we'll talk about the legendary book of crafting. And a supplier now. And yeah, when, every time you hear the ding, that means something has been filled in on your map. And uh, no, that's nice and all. This guy here, if you talk to him, don't click too fast. If you press E too fast, uh, nothing happens. Uh, yeah, that nothing happened. But now I can rest till morning. Hey, it is day. I can see things, and I'm poor. <laughs> um, let's take a look at the map. In the meanwhile, we got some areas to check out: green and purple areas. Like purple, absolutely where are you? There's also gold areas or yellow. Uh, <laughs> especially avoid those. But for now, now it's light. Now we can see things. Let's let's talk to more people. Uh, really the best way to start the game. Like, talk to everyone you can find here. I hope they give you hints, especially for stuff like the hang glider. Or the reins, although that won't do you much good in the beginning. Um, yeah, I haven't found a thing yet. Also, what is going on over here? This you won't always see, but apparently there's like a little dungeon or something here. <laughs> Oh, this is one of the end of game dungeons. Yeah. The Desvia sewers. I had no idea sewer maps even existed. If you go into here, there'll probably be lots of strong enemies. <laughs> if you see something where you go down a staircase like this, it's probably the end of area dungeon. It's basically how you should see that. For now, I'm going to avoid that because I don't like getting murdered. I'll probably still get murdered a lot. Let's continue with our thing of talking to everyone and hopefully they told me about the hang glider because that's like the movement option of the game climbing spikes so well, that's one of them and those are somewhere nothing interesting there if I'm doing things no now that episode will also have talking about the gnome Welcome to the village. Kick up some more shrooms. Later on, you can use them for crafting. And nothing interesting. This looks like I'm very unlucky right now. And I only have the location of the climbing spikes. You should, uh, you know, with some luck, get like a couple of locations to check. We're not done talking to everyone yet. Talking about the legendary book of crafting again. Nope. Here's more fields. I don't think wheat fields ever have things in them. Well, there's this one like mana flower. No, it's not a mana flower. Shame I can't steal any of their crops. Uh, so we need a bit more. So there's like these bags and stuff out there, but you can't break them. They, they don't do anything. There's treasure chests, but you'll know. Um, it's uh, not much going on. Gem, nader, gem trader gnome, he's everywhere. You can sell stuff here if you wanted to, or buy stuff which is very expensive, and you probably shouldn't. <laughs> Couple more humans to go. Oh. Hey, the hang glider. Thank you. No, now we have a target. Let's go and get that. Me too. So let's see where that is. That is all the way over there. Of course it is. All the way there. I can show you about how to play the game and how to get stronger. It's not like we can do much in the village right now because yeah, we don't have the cash. Um, one more quick look. They think she can pick these up or destroy them. No. 
Shame there's no healing items in the village. Um, that's, yeah, random chance, really. That, that feels where I found them in where I haven't. Um, piggy over here. Get bit the pig with E. Yay. Okay, nothing going on. Well, let's move on then. Let's go towards that hind glider and the climbing spikes. I kind of want both of them. Um, so, pressing M again for the map. Um, let's set a path through there. I, well, I just could walk that way, but there is stuff to find. This whole zone is filled with stuff to do. And uh, yeah, let's find some stuff by zooming in a bit. And if I look, well, here's a very fancy forest. This is probably a set, a set piece, basically. A thing where you can do a thing. Also, like here in the cedar, very obvious little pillars. Uh, which will probably be islands or shrines. Uh, yeah, they're all over. And I like to mark stuff beforehand. Uh, yeah, I know that these probably don't have anything good, but it's more the, like little tutile buildings. Like here is also something. Two in a row. And uh, I like to having like a little check across the area. This is something fancy. Tower of some sort. Um, this feels fancy. It's probably a, ver a diff different village. Uh, there's probably something going on here. Um, not seeing much shrines yet, but I need to zoom in because shrines are pretty important because they're your save points and warp zones. Lava Lake. This island feels fishy. Everything is fishy. Just click the middle mouse button, and yeah, might be easier to find later. Like here, that's obviously fishy. Um, here is fishy. That's a mana pump. Uh, you can tell later. This feels a bit fishy. Shells, yeah, basically this side of objects. Here's like a platform, probably. Yeah, probably a lore platform. You'll be finding lore, which is not super important. This is probably something. Probably yeah, some sort of zone. Uh, but yeah, harder to find. Oh, things like these. And especially on my way there, uh, I want to find more of those shrines so I can save. Like, here's one. This probably will be our first, first target. Let's see. There's a fishy thing. Another safe shrine. Getting close to the rocks over there. That's the hills. Another lore platform. Little shrine. Uh, it's probably nothing. Another village. It's usually multiple villages. This force is covered quite differently, so maybe. And yeah. I guess for now that's good enough. It's probably more. Like, you can always zoom in to like the max where you can basically see everything and things will stand out, but it will cost a bit more time to go through the entire map like this. Let's uh, let's do stuff though. Uh, we put that close star over there. Let's zoom out until we can see it on the map and head towards that. And uh, yeah. Also, talk to everyone pro tip uh, the health bar this one is blue which means they are friendly if the health bar is red they will murder you <laughs> especially in the beginning um, talking about stuff uh, nothing important hey oh wow I'm lucky uh, I found some things over here I'm holding shift to attack these faster I could also like hold the left mouse button if you'd like that a bit slower though. Here's some iron nuggets for the crafting system. There's a crafting system with C. You might need uh, a forge thing in town with crafting. It's very hard to find enough iron. So don't worry too much about crafting. And let's, uh, yeah, let's go to that star. And let's see if we found some enemies on the way. And uh, especially take a look at the like system. Now, there's some rock monsters. Those are in hills everywhere. Like, everywhere. Those are three stars. Yeah, they're gonna murder me. They're blue. 
Uh, that's the tier system in the game if you haven't put the star system on. Like It starts at white tier, then green, then blue, then purple, then yellow or gold. And uh, oh, over here some more three star ogres. Yeah, those will also murder me. And no chance against those. Uh, so let's just go around them. Also, there are uh, there is a bit of fall damage. <laughs> Here's some chili peppers, which are four stars, and yeah, purple. Well, they're even stronger than those ogres. Although that's his ogre boss. It's bigger than the other ones. Uh, well, if you you can handle a ogre, you can handle a boss usually. But still, be careful with them, <laughs> especially now. Like if you press B again. I'm nothing. I'm, I'm one star. Here's shrine, and yeah, there's lots of bees over there. These shrines, you always want to go to them because these are your safe points and fast travel. Go to the platform, press E, flute a little bit, and hey, it's activated. Now there's a blue spot on the map. You click the star away with middle mouse button. Although it can be hard to get away since it's hidden by the dot. And yeah, I could like click here now and you'd warp there. Same with near the village. Um, that's why having fast travel is nice. Some slimes here, three stars. Hornets, two stars. Being murdered as well. Oh, and a slime is left after me. And R. <laughs> Trying to get away. Because he won't let me. Let's see if I can do run by here. And uh, you steal some coins because these guys are fighting them. <laughs> hey, they saved saved me. Ah, here's some leftovers, also good to show off. And hey, some onion slices. Uh, yeah, they can drop stuff, snow merry mash. Also, let's talk to them. Please tell me something about something. Talking about uh, the supplier gnome again. And, uh, oh, that's the thing. That's fine. Over here, there's some more enemies. Planes runners, which are two stars. Yeah, no. <laughs> I I don't even want to fight a two star thing right now. White things you could think you could fight. Also, these heart flowers. Pick all of them up you can find. They make potions. Speaking of potions, uh, if you press tab, you get like a little mana-ish system, and you can switch between with A and D between these. Life potions you can like actually use during your battle. Uh, these like health items, like food items, uh, you have to sit to eat them, and they take a bit, a bit longer. But you can also eat them. Eat them with Q. And full health, so I won't right now. There's some more NPCs to talk to. Knolls again. And they, yeah, also tell you about other things. Some. Enemies. You can also get pets, but you need pet food items. I'll probably get some, but it might not be for something you want. Hey, here's some lemons. Might as well pick them up. Apples. Good food items. Nice. Meanwhile, let's head towards the star. And yeah, pray we find some one star enemies <laughs> that I can actually like show you fighting. Uh, nope. <laughs> Looks like this is possessed zone where there's possessed enemies now and then. Uh, yeah, blue three stars. No, they'll murder me. They're half health. Maybe I have a chance, but probably not. Beetles, two stars. Yeah, maybe since I'm a warrior, could probably get them. But I'd like to have maybe some equipment before I do that. There's lots of friendly gnomes around here. Well, oh. please give me more hits. Hmm. Uh, nothing. Scottish areas like Scottish terriers like to eat croissants, croissants, of course. Also, yeah, I guess I pushed the star here because the trees were different, but there's nothing actually here. Actually, there is. <laughs> See the name pop up on the map? This means there's a zone where there is something here. Um, it's also a white zone, it seems, so... There could be anything here. Yeah, pick up more stuff. 
Could be an item lying around on the ground. Could be like a quest where you have to beat some enemies. Um, no one has told me about this though, so I have no idea right now. Well, so cotton plants to destroy, cobwebs. These are all like for different classes. I'm a warrior, so I mostly need iron. But if you're a mage, I think you need silk. If you're a ranger, you need something else. Like the cotton, perhaps. The rogue would need something else. Also, yeah, nice little heart flowers. Um, let's see. What is there going on here? There's lots of lots of gem trader gnomes. These are everywhere. They're absolutely everywhere. I guess you could use them to sell stuff in the field if you you want to do that. Um, what I'm mostly looking for is like a peculiar set of enemies or something spinning on the ground. You know, like FPS level styles. Uh, or FPS power-ups like a Doom in the old days. Um, nothing yet. Setting walls again. I might have talked to you guys already. Uh, yeah, it's got a stereo thing. Hmm. Where is it? <laughs> There's obviously something here, otherwise it wouldn't have like a name on the map like this. Um, I'm not seeing anything really. It's an item that spins around, it will be easy to see. And if it's a set of enemies, and yeah, you'd also see it. It's really not much here. Mm. There's a two-star caterpillar. Solo one might be able to handle that. Done like a loop around of this area now. <laughs> Already. I can only carry like five of them, so that is max. Um, hmm. Keep packing up all the stuff. <sighs> Annoying. Um, probably max on these. Oh, those are not. Probably max on those near now. Weird. He should have found something by now. Oh, here's the shop beetles. Let's not get too close to them. I guess I'll just give up. Like in, yeah, for the tutorials, basically, I don't need to show you this, but it would be nice to have whatever it is. It's probably an item of some sorts. Um, he is. Yeah, this item is usually like close to the center ish. At least I'm picking up lots of stuff. I guess just give up. Guess I'm looking here and like the shade of the trees, maybe that'll help. Like if it was a set of enemies, I probably would have found it by now. Uh, it's yeah, usually a spinning thing. Someone on YouTube is going to tell me, like, hey, Doc, you missed it. It was here at uh, Timestamp. But uh, I'm blind. Well, this is tutorial uh, you can find on your own. <laughs> You'll be in a different zone anyway. Uh, let's just continue. I want to head northwards here for the stars. So it's probably something. I want to get towards the Hang Rider. 
That's all the way over there. So yeah, let's follow the path of the stars. Back over there. Here's like... I think I can handle, being a warrior, I can handle one of these caterpillars. Red health bar, so it will attack me. I'm uh, gonna try and kite them. Like one at a time, like you. Help. Come here. Okay, now we attack. Left mouse button. And shift. And now we made some mana, we can hold the right mouse button. And I survived. Hey. <laughs> The uh, thing is, as a warrior, you get like Berserk status. You saw that in the top left under the coin count. And once you have that, like now, you heal with basically every attack you do. So if you hold shift, you basically keep healing. Uh, yeah, you're basically gonna get Berserker status very often. That's the yeah, perks of being a Berserker. So I can't deal with these enemies. If I was a ranger, or a mage, this would probably be a lot harder already. Uh, so, your mileage may vary. <laughs> you might want to stick to, like, one-star enemies. Because of that. Uh, there's a mole. Hey, that's actually a one-star enemy. Wow. And, uh, this is the thing where they're, they're also beating up a vegetable. The radish thing. A three-star one. These are defensive animals, they, they are friendly, they're green, um, they will attack you back, they yeah, might be in groups. Also if they go into the ground, press E to grab them out. And yeah, if you have some mana, hold right mouse button and uh, you can use it for a slam attack, which will often stun them as well. If you're in berserk mode, you'll do it even faster. So, that is a thing. And yeah, these... There's a white enemies. As a warrior, they can hardly even damage me. That's nice. Even at the start. Here are, like, some quest things. The molehills are spawning from here. Yeah. Let's get rid of all the moles. These are also animals you get good. Get, uh... In the thing. As a pet, even. And you see the power of a warrior, like even I was swamped and I just hold shift and kill them all. Ginseng soup you'll find often, you'll healing item. I didn't find much else, unfortunately. Sometimes you get leftovers or or just items. And that's what you need to kit up. Like I'm one star now, if I find like a green item, or two star item, then yeah, I'd get the two stars basically. Especially if you get a weapon or a defense or something like that. Here's some defenseless chickens. And yeah, in the beginning, we murdered them. It, it's it's sad to be <laughs> attacking like weak little enemies that don't even attack you, but you need you need better equipment and they can drop it. Often they drop money, but it's not always. Sometimes they drop leftovers or equipment. So kill all you can, especially in the beginning, because they can be very rare to find enemies that are actually your level. Look like I'm pretty lucky with this zone, with there being lots of, lots of these moles around. Even like try to start in a desert zone, for example. There's a lot of enemies which will probably murder you, and you don't have a chance. Okay, now the stuff. I might die here. But I'm also a warrior. <laughs> uh, with my berserk power and my spin to win attack. Do not try that as a, as a weaker class. Um, yeah, shift, spin to win, it really is. Especially combined with the, the buff in the top left. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, it's gone. But you get it all the time as a berserker. Um, and yeah, didn't find anything yet, but yeah, you might. And you just got, just got to keep trying. It's a llama over here, or oh, abaca even. It's, yeah, cute, fuzzy animals. Murder them. Like, seriously, pro tip. <laughs> Murder everything you can. Like, in the beginning, the game is really hard. Until you find some items. And, yeah. Kill what you can. It's really the best tip of the year. And I also was like, in the beginning, oh, this one is a green star. Ooh. 
different color, of course. Fun bomb. I didn't want to fight the sheep and the cute fluffy animals, and other way of fluffy animals from the beginning either. And that gets you killed. Here is a, a lore platform. Uh, you can also climb if you like jump to a wall. There's E, there's a little status bar. You'll obviously often find like a lore platform. Press E to check it. You get a bit of lore. Uh, uh, the lore is increased to 10%. You can get to 100%. You can actually get over that if you stay near it. Like to unclick the star. Uh, let's sit here because that's another safe point. Zoom out a bit so I can see it. Okay. There's bears, blue star, blue tree star, stay away. Oh, yeah. So I found a bomb a moment ago as well. Um, you don't often use them. They are hidden treasures where you can bomb stuff. Usually in like little alcoves like that. Uh, but if it is one, the ground has to be cracked and this is pretty even. You see some lines on the ground. If you see something like that, they're, they're weak lines, it's hard to see, but if they're there, try and put the bomb in the middle and you might find a treasure. Uh, speaking of treasure, here's a log. Sometimes these have treasures inside. This doesn't, but there's lots of logs around. And yeah, they might just have one. Also those sort of hills. Sometimes, like not often, there's like a cave on, in them might also be underwater, might, might just be underground anywhere. There's treasure in them. Sometimes. <laughs> Gotta get lucky with that. Uh, here's another hill. So I saw ogres around here, so be a bit careful perhaps. No. Also, there's like an item you can find in zones. Uh, the treasure sensor, or whatever it's called. If, that, if a treasure is close to it, you'll see a blue like flame around you. And it'll point you towards the treasure. It's easy to find stuff that way. I don't. <laughs> I don't have quality trust on just army yet. Oh, yeah. If you see NPCs, keep talking to them. Uh, there's two gem gnomes like near each other. And you explore. And explore. It's also roads, but yeah, they kinda stop out of nowhere and they start out of nowhere. Not sure they actually roads <laughs> sometimes. And uh, what is that? Like a flying radish? A bloom link? But it's nearly dead. I'm one hit away from death. Uh, shepherd dogs around here, three stars, do not attack them. And hey, yeah, they killed it for me. More gold for me. So tons of hornets here. That's far too much for me. Those little hive things are spawners, just like with the molehills. There are two stars. I could take them one on one, but... Uh, killing them one by one and then go... They'll just keep spawning before I can kill them. Really. Fighters are like level two moles. Uh, one on one, I could kill them. Probably have a rougher time if you're a mage, as always. Or a ranger, or whatever. I'm gonna skip him for now. Let's head towards the next point. Oh wow, we're already 40 minutes in as well. <laughs> um, I should try and hurry up a little bit. There's another save point. I'm gonna mark that. And I have given you like most of the basics already. Um. Let's see, let's show you the hang glider and let's also talk about the end of level stuff. Or the end of zone stuff, because zones are a thing. Let's uh let's just like beeline it to the hang glider from now on. Which is all the way over there. Okay. Well set of enemies. Often if they're invisible like that, that means they're rogues and they're they can be hostile, but these are blue health bars, so it's fine. Okay. Put another star around here. Uh, so I marked something. Uh, 
we'll see in a moment, probably. I wonder what I missed also at that one zone. <laughs> Very annoying. Right there, yeah, you get the basic gloom blade loop. Focus doing things. Not can wait. I'm still like early looping over here. Pick up some more crap. Uh, slime, two star. Well, I could probably take one of them, but yeah, he's friends. And I kind of want to uh, like rush towards the hang glider. Uh, there's another lore platform. They're yeah, very easy to spot. Sometimes they have like quests uh, with them as well. Most of the time they're lore platforms. Yeah, climb on down, and there's lore on the platform. Why do you think I call them a lore platform? <laughs> Uh, so I want to go that way. Uh, these bushes, I think these are for rangers. They need wood, I think. Getting logs out of that. Also, items like that, like the bush, can also like spawn armor very rarely. So even if you're in, they're not your class, just open them. Uh, mushrooms you can use like for buffs and such, not super important. Some more nulls. Again, talk to everyone you can. Especially these like roving avenger adventurers. Oh, there's a camp in the east all around here. An epic book of rafting. And hey. That's uh, there. Yeah, that's three stars. <laughs> oh no, I missed a mushroom. This thing fill up on apples. There's some actual horses around here. Yeah, horses are also two stars. Would be tough. Could probably take one of them. But, yeah. Let's go towards the hang glider so we can go out of the zone as well. Heart flowers are nice to pick up. Oh, yeah, so about crafting. I guess I could talk about that in a while. Let's see. You get the crafting menu. And uh, especially. Life potions are nice. You need uh, you need a hard flower and a water bottle. Uh, water bottles you might buy bottles. Uh, you might also find them a lot on enemies or stuff. They're basically everywhere. Um, to make a water bottle, you have a glass bottle. Go to water and press C, and you can craft like a water bottle here somewhere, like here, water flask. You need to be standing in water to do that though. And once you've done that, we'll see you can make life potions together with the heart flowers. And yeah, there's also other potions which like need like other fancy stuff like those mushrooms and dewdrops. You can make elixir of toughness. You can make these things. Could be useful uh, if you're having problems with an enemy. Try and make a potion and use that. Anyway, found another village. Don't have the time to like talk to absolutely everyone again. Can I talk to you? I guess so. But yeah, you should. If you're playing, oh, talk to me something. Here's a graveyard which has a harp apparently, and some other gnome in a four-star forest. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, maybe I have enough money by now to buy some armor. Might make things easier. Shop, shops are randomized. Uh, so, something this ha has, the other might not have. All shoulder armors. Well, let's buy this one for 15. I can equip it somewhere here. I have those leftovers. I should probably tell that. Nice to be. Met the village in the meanwhile. For leftovers, you go to the little magnifying shop over here. Magnifying glass shop. Don't hang on to the door. Talk to them. Click on leftovers. Identify. It's something that I can't use. Anything in red here is something you can't use. Give it to your friends or just sell it. Uh, you can't sell stuff here, can you? No. You can sell it at another shop. Uh, I'll leave that for now. Another flight master. Talk to them to move to your friends. Meanwhile, we're heading on towards that hang glider. 
not the most concise of uh, tutorials, this. But hey, that's very curious still. Hmm. <laughs> not a human. I haven't found a Diana Harp yet. But yeah, talk to everyone, they might give you hints. There's piggies here. Nice one star enemies, yeah. Feels like so evil to kill them, but. That's okay, the beginning. Is what you need. Alright, yeah, I can't touch that. Words will be pain. And you'll learn what enemies you can uh, touch and which you can't. In a green zone like this is pretty easy, luckily. Like, the, the ogres are really big. But uh, there might also be roving hostile NPCs around, which can come out of nowhere sometimes and just murder you. Rock monsters are basically always three stars, blue three stars enemies. Uh, and they're always in mountains, they're everywhere. Here's some uh, purple slimes, yeah. That's like one shot me easily. And um, how to get over there. Uh, let's just go over. Caves, they uh, sometimes have iron deposits. So you might want to check them out. I find them pretty empty most of the time, though. But uh, if you're gonna want to find iron and craft yourself some gear, that's you need to check in hills. Hills have the is where the iron deposits are. It's easier to find in other zones like deserts. But really, crafting uh, gear, I've done it like once. <laughs> yeah, often it's easier just to find stuff or buy stuff. To get yourself stronger in the zone. Because, yeah. That is a thing. And it's also zone bound. Well, I'll talk about that in a moment. It's one of the big bugbears uh, with the game. First, we should be heading up towards Rodar Rock, which has the hang glider. Um, that's probably that one. Oh boy, it's one of those rocks. Uh, I might not be able to climb that. Also, here's some water. I guess uh, if I was smart, I would craft some stuff. Also, I feel like jumping out through the water is easier. That's, uh... Oh, I don't have any flasks. Never mind. <laughs> You'll get some flasks. Don't worry. Or buy them in the store. In a town. There's a, a store. This colleague is five stars. What? <laughs> Luckily, it's friendly. <laughs> Whoa! Let's see that health bar, 1530 HP. I got 190. Yeah, uh, that would like. You would look at me and I would die if it was hostile. Sheeps, that's better than Horde Star. Man, the most. the Collie of Doom. I think really, I met my main character, uh, Collie, as a pet for the longest time. Uh, the thing is also that it changes per zone. If you are in a different zone, which you probably are at the start. Collies might be weak one-star enemies, and sheep might be four stars or five stars. So that's the thing. So here's the hang glider rock. The thing is, climbing this will be tough. If I can get to there, I might be able to make it, but I hmm, might not. Let's try because before you have the climbing gloves, which uh, I saw they were over here. Uh, before you have the climbing gloves, you have stamina for climbing. Uh, yeah. Jump onto the wall, please. Like that. No, never gonna make that. Uh, yeah, once you run out, you fall down. Uh, that is a thing. Um, there might be a better spot to climb it, like over here. Sometimes you have bad luck though, and it's really tough to do, like, maybe even impossible without uh, climbing gear. Looks like I uh, at least made it to this tier of the rock. Now I have to get up here. Here maybe. If I can get there. I can get somewhere. Wait a moment. Use this. And This, I'm continuing. 
jumping all the way around. And we made it. Nice. Here's a glider, and here you can see it's a spinning iron. That was a, what I expected to find in the other spot. Oh, let's pick it up. Now we have a hang glider. Take it to the skies of the Lonry Hills. This whole area, that's the, the Lonry Hills. That's one of the things with the game. It only works in this area. Same with your equipment. It's time to talk about that. Like, let's let's show you because it's seeing is believing. Let's uh, exit the area, which I will if I head that way. Uh, first, I have to get the hang glider, jump, and press E. It might be easier uh, to like do that before the big jump. Like but sometimes, like jump beforehand, land, and then space to jump and hold space. With holding space, then you can go up. Never press backwards. That's like the... Yeah, that's what I was pressing at first. If you press S, then you basically instantly start to spiral down. By now, by holding space, I can just, you know, get a much bigger radius. With some more lore. Could get the hang liner. But yeah, even walking like this, walking, holding space, you go faster. So having the hang glider is like very much needed. Uh, I have to be careful though, if you go and hit a wall, you're stunned for a while. Usually it's not a problem, but if you do that in a group of enemies, yeah, you might have a bad time. Especially also if you're going up hills, you're probably better off. But yeah, if you're going off hills, like, definitely use the hang glider. It's a lot easier. Mm. And we let's uh, get ourselves to the border. It's gonna be a green, green border as well, which is even harder to tell sometimes. Because of the zone bound systems. Yeah. So everything is zone bound, which is a weird decision in this game. This is a zone or an area, whatever you want to call it, region. It's uh, set up here, it's the hills, and I guess we're pretty close to the border actually. So all the stuff I found in this zone, like the hang glider or any weapons or armor I found, only works in this zone. Crossing a border is basically a new game plus. Like the one thing you keep is your money, that works. And there are uh, plus items. You can get like a, a weapon a weapon with a plus behind it. And like the shabby iron sword, that will work, actually work in a different zone. I'm very lucky I spawned with that. <laughs> um, and it's yeah really weird. Oh, uh, yeah, we crossed the border. Hard to tell. But you can see top left, there's no hang glider icon anymore. And I can't press the hang glider button anymore. If I look at B, I'm down to zero stars. If I equip, I go like to the right here, because it's a different zone. Maybe I equip the sword now. Hey, I got one star again. Also, if I de-equip my armor, <laughs> you're often better off in a new zone. So let's go naked, then I release the one stars and everything, you're punching and you're like without armor. But it's better than it was a moment ago. But yeah, let's go back, if I go this way now, yeah, Lumber Hills. And now, you see the top hang glider in the top left again, I have it again. Everything is zone bound. And don't you dare cross a border. Well. You can't dare to cross a border, but you'll be a level 1 chump again. And since there's like no levels... Like, uh, in a moment... Come on. I know the border's here somewhere. Can I just cross it earlier? <laughs> there it is. Hang glider gone. Equipment gone. It is a thing. And yeah, there, there is levels, but there's no levels. Everything is item bound. Uh, these levels are for artifacts which you find at the end of the zone. Remember that sewer I found uh, back at the town? That has like an artifact, which increases this one, increases hang lightning speed. If you get one of those, you get a level. 
But levels don't give like stats like HP and attack. It only does what it says on the tin here. Increases hang gliding speed. So my hang gliding speed would go up to probably 119%. Um, so, yeah, you don't level that way. You level by getting gear. I'm back in the hills. Let's uh, at least wear my crappy stuff again. And, yeah, you, you really gotta be careful with that. And especially here, it's two green zones, so it's really hard to even see the, where the border is. But you, you notice it when the name changes. It is definitely a thing. Also, it will be easier to see in the desert. But desert, same dealio. If I go there, suddenly I'm a weakling, and I might get murdered by the, the weakest enemy around there. Oh wow, there's like an actual pyramid here. I've not, not seen those yet. <laughs> but they are in game. Um, and yeah, that's a thing you gotta, you gotta be careful about. Um, and yeah, really, what you wanna do is you wanna stick within your zone. You wanna keep exploring like I just did. Uh, go grab the, the the white stuff especially um, and tear up so what I would normally do after this is I would look, go check all the white stuff I would check talk to more people in the village I would go get the climbing gloves over here once you have these you can climb up everything without any stamina loss make, thing, make climbing a lot easier uh, this harp over here opens some certain doors. There's a flute which gets you to floating platforms. There's the reins which uh, lets you ride a pet. But uh, there's the treasure sensor I was talking about earlier. That's about all the, the magic items you get get per zone. But again, they are per zone. Cross the border, they're gone. The god of borders hates you, and he wants you to stay in your zone. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you have to really. But it, it forces you to do a zone and explore everything and kid up. And yeah, kidding up. So what I would do, let me continue that. I would start with going by all the white zones. All the white zones on the map, like the harp, the climbing gloves, uh, find some more maybe. Maybe check some more, like there's probably more stuff around. Here is a thing. Let's go explore, like here's obviously a village. Go check out everything on the map. Try and find white zones and try and find gear. And yeah, uh, get stronger that way. At one point you'll probably have green gear and you'll probably get up to green stars here. Well, then you can deal with green enemies, maybe even blue enemies. And then you keep going and yeah, then you go to green zones. Uh, don't see any green zones here right now. But until they're hill. Which is also a, a, a supplier gnome. Those are very important. If you free one of them, probably they're in a pot or captured somehow, and you have to kill some enemies to free them. Uh, once you unlock one of these gnomes, then the shops in the, the the shops in the towns have more stuff. So yeah, free one of them, go back into town, and hey, you might get up buy some green gear, for example. And yeah, get up the green gear, then you get up the blue gear, then you get up the purple gear, and then you get up the gold gear. And yeah, that's that's basically the loop of the, ga of the game. You're trying to get your way all the way up the gold gear to uh, the five stars. And then when you have that, basically you can do the dungeon. Sometimes earlier, um, sometimes there's multiple dungeons in a system. I found one system which had one, one zone which had three, and one of them was real easy. Uh, I could basically already do it with purple gear uh, another one was real hard and even with full gold gear I couldn't beat the boss uh, I needed probably even better gold gear than that and it's all equipment based equipment is really the name of the game you gotta find that and get stronger and yeah that's basically the gameplay loop and I think that should be enough for the starting up for yeah the tutorial or fucking hour in i'm sorry it always takes so long but you get the idea so in the beginning in short in the beginning go to your nearest village it really should be somewhere near your start uh in this case it has stars because i found the dungeon uh go to the village talk to everyone get like information where spots are on the map 
especially try and get the hang glider early on. It's really nice, like as a movement tool. Uh, range are also very good if you can find a pet. Pets you can buy. Sometimes you can like, find pet items will show up here. Uh, check the wiki <laughs> or try and figure it out yourself. What pet wants one item? If you find the pets, just click on it. You'll just hold it out, uh, and you'll tame an animal. And some of them you can ride. You can ride collies, for example. And I know collies need bubble gum. And often shops sell bubble gum, so that might be a way. Like buy some bubble gum in the store somewhere. And tame a collie, and then if you find the reins, then you can ride them and you can go fast. Um, but only if you find the reins, and only in that zone. <laughs> you get the idea, but yeah. Go starting village, go check all the white locations on the map. Pray you find some good gear, so you can get up to like green tier, to start tier. Start doing the green zones on the map. Pray you find some good gear, and maybe rescue some gnomes. And maybe buy some some up to three tier, up to blue tier, and so forth. And after blue comes purple, and after purple comes yellow. Yellow is basically end of zone stuff. Uh, and once you have the item, there's not much more to do. Then you're super powerful, and you can basically kill everything in the zone. And then it's on to move. Then you could move on to another zone and start over from the beginning. <laughs> Because that's how the game works. There, there is plus gear. As I saw, uh, as you saw, I have a plus gear here. This would work in the other zone. Uh, all the other stuff is worthless in the other zone. But you're, you're basically a new game plus, and this stuff is rare. Like often, I found like two pieces of of plus tier per zone, and that's it. And usually green ones. So you, you're basically getting up again if you want to go to a different zone. Um, uh, also, to note, plus gear works on the borders around you. So it works in this zone, this zone, this zone. Uh, I think there's a border here. This zone. Uh, there's a border here. All around here. Let's say I, I'm sick of green hills here and I don't want to go to the desert or a dark forest or an ocean. I want to go to an ice zone over here. Your plus gear doesn't work there. So you'd have to start all the way back up from nothing. You'd keep your money though, and you could buy some stuff in the stores maybe. But that's about it. And yeah, it's a weird design decision, like crossing a border is a new game plus. I don't agree with it. It is... It sort of works though, I've, been, I've played fucking 20 hours of the game already. What more? I'm up to... What, what's this steam now? 32 hours now, even. Uh, yeah, you can do a zone per day. Like, in the beginning, my first starting zone took me like 10 hours, but then it was like 3 for an ocean zone. Or, yeah. Once you get faster, you can do the zones faster and you level up a bit, but you get tiny, tiny little bonuses to like hang gliding speed or saving speed. It's not very important. But, yeah, that, that, that's, that's the gameplay loop. Uh, with that, I think I've told you everything you need to know to start, and probably way too much time, <laughs> but hey. Um, yeah, that's uh, the Cube World tutorial, uh, I hope you enjoyed, you learned something, and uh, yeah, this might change, this is just the start of the launch here in 2019, it's uh, 29th of September. It's still in beta as well. This whole system might change in the future. I don't know. It's definitely way different from six years ago, 2013. Uh, and if you ask me, six, six years ago it was better. But hey, that's me. I think also a lot of people agree. And I feel like this, this has to change at one point, but who knows. We'll see. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys later.